Good afternoon people. I thought it was about time I did a new video. I haven't had one out since. I don't think I've had one out since August because um just started sixth form. It's been crazy the amount of work we've had to do. It's been really good. But I thought it was about time I did a new video and I've got something amazing to show you today. Which is this. My new seven string, which is the Agile Scepter Elite 727. And this is a fucking amazing guitar. Seriously. I got it um, got it about a month ago, at the end of October, it's now the end of November, and i um, been playing it a hell of a lot, and I can easily tell you it's the best guitar I've ever played, and I own at the moment. It's better than my other 7 string, which is this um, Schechter, the Jeff Loomis signature, which is also nice, but this tops it, this tops it. <laughs> right, I'll show you the specs. It's got Seymour Duncan blackouts, got one in the bridge, one in the neck as well. Um, I personally prefer these to the EMGs, um, I just think they sound nicer, you know, it's a matter of personal preference. Um, I've got three guitars with um, EMGs, and they're nice, but these blackouts, I just love, they sound really great. They seem a bit more full, it's, it's hard to explain, but um, they d they're not as trebly. They have like a more balanced um, EQ range, I find, than the EMGs, which is good. Um, it's got ebony fretboard with no, um, it's got no markers, no position markers on the actual neck. It's got side dots though, like position markers on the side, as you can see, which is nice. It's got a 27 inch scale length, 24 frets. The scale length is really nice, I was looking for something longer because of the tuning I use. Um, I've got it tuned in um, E flat at the moment. It's like E flat to E flat and a low B flat, low B flat on the seven string. And you can also drop tune that to A flat, so you've got like open tuning, which is really nice. I do that quite a lot. Um, headstock, it's got reverse headstock, which is nice, with the awesome looking Agile logo quite script style, which is cool. So look at the back. Got a nice neck. This one is eight nine one eight nine one seven agile guitars. Neck through construction, which is lovely. It's got quite a nice deep cutaway here. Not that I use the higher frets that much. I do occasionally for solos but my forte is like rhythm guitar and this is this is amazing for rhythm, really nice. And then it's got um, you've got your string through here, which is nice. And then you've got your compartment for the nine volt here. The actual bridge is really nice as well. At the bottom, I think it's made by Hipshot. Um, what's different? The difference between this and the bridge on the Schecter is you've got individual sad saddles for each string. So, like if you see here, you've got. Um, two like screws either side so you can raise the action for the individual strings. You can't do that on the other Schecter 7 string I on the Schecter 7 string I have, which is a bit of a shame. So you've got a lot more control on this. Right. Um, the controls you've got, you know, just single volume here, three way select a switch for the pickups and tone, which I hardly use. You know, you just have that on full all the time. I play metal, you don't need the tone. <laughs> so yeah, it's lovely, it's really nice looking as well. And it's got a thin seven string neck. Did you see that? It's really comfortable to play and really low action. You know, it makes even my legato playing sound um, fairly good. <laughs> and I'm crap at legato. But um, I'd highly recommend an Agile, personally. I mean, I've heard mixed reviews about Agile. Um, Heard some people say that they've had to have the intonation sorted out, stuff like that. I haven't had any problems yet, and um, I doubt I will because you know, it's a solid guitar. It really is. Um, it's great. And another thing, it took a week to get here from the States, and I'm in the UK. That is insanely fast. Um, the first guitar I got from the States, which was uh, Schecter Baritone, got that put away in a case here at the moment. That took um, that took over a month to get here, 
and the Schecter 7 string, that took two weeks. This took a week, <laughs> so I've had a lot of time to play it, which is, you know, it's brilliant of course, and I've really enjoyed playing it, it's fantastic. I will be doing um, a couple of videos soon, you know, sound clips or like demo videos for this, so you can actually hear what it sounds like, hear for yourself how awesome it is. I'll be looking forward to doing that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about like Agile, about the guitar, anything like that, um, feel free to drop a comment in the section below or like send me an email, something like that. Be happy to answer any questions or queries. You know anything about the specs, the playability, whatever. It's your choice. Um, yeah, see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed this.